one of all, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Doomy and Lovely Things. So Sumizi finally responded to the allegations by Hasting Mooing and Eusebius Makeza. Without further ado, I'm not going to say much. Let's hear what he had to say. Good. These things approached me 2013 verbally. And then he told me about a cooking show. And I was like, no, I'm not interested because at the time I didn't know my direction would take the cooking direction. Mm. It was before idols, before everything else. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Then I left with that. But then he says he sent me an email. I've never opened an email mm. ever. And I mean, never email a stangan. Anyone who knows me would no. tell you I don't. I don't do emails. I've got. I've got a PA. I've got a road manager, I've got a manager, I've got an agency. Those people are hired to look after my emails and look at my emails. Yeah? Mm. So he just said to me, you know, he didn't say whether it's a TV show about what or what. He didn't, he didn't pitch the idea to me. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So I left it at that. However, even if he told me, what the cooking show is about let's say he said cooking with okay my my show now it's cooking at so easy yeah? so mm. he says his idea was cooking with so easy mm. even if he he told me about the idea but the thing is one no one in my team opened that email because he said he sent it to my personal email mm. that email i haven't used in years <clears throat> yeah mm. Even if he did, he did send me the the document. Ne? Mm. Fine. He could have copywritten the idea, mm. right? Mm. And sold it to anyone. Could have said cooking with pearl, cooking with spewe, cooking with so and so, right? That he that is copyright. However, if I do dinner at Somizi, dinner at Somizi's. So I just started falling in love with cooking, right? Mm. And then mm. I decided to do my own YouTube channel. Then Legend called and says, no, after he saw my post, Legend says, no, um, 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 don't do a cooking show. We're going to do a TV show, right? Mm. Then Legend came with an idea. I did not like it. But I did not that I did not like the entire idea. There were things that I was not like, I, that's not me. I want something that speaks to me. That is me. Mm. Yeah. So then I, I came up with ideas. I'll give an example. The idea is yeah, yeah, food for thought. I bet you it's not in, in Hastings' idea. That's an idea that mm. came to my head. I think I want something that's going to inspire people and motivational thing at the end of the show. I came up with that idea. Yeah? Because it's also part of who you True. are. You do that on your Instagram daily. Exactly. exactly. So, and then two, I said, um, I want to do the personalities that come into my show should be personalities that I personally know. Mm. That I have a personal relationship with. Mm. That's an idea on its own. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Then, that's two. And then three, the name, Dina Etzomizis. I was one of the people that suggested it, it must have my name in it. Mm. But, however, um, Anyone can come and say, this is my idea. There's, this show, even my show, it's not an original concept. Mm. It's not a... Sipova's show is the same as my show. The only difference is that she interviews anyone who is famous. Mm. Um, Zola Nene has the same show. Mm. It's the same concept. Also, again, he has the right to do it with someone else. You can't say... It's your concept when every cooking show, there's no, 
one that has a copyright of a cooking show. Mm. Number one. Mm. All the shows same. Or from overseas show to Uzanin Kako had a show. We go alone a show. Yes, no, Zandin Kapo had a show four years ago. So, it, it do you have a show. personal relationship with Hastings? Do you have a, like a strong personal relationship? I know him. Yeah, I know, I know him. So not like that like close, but I know him. Like and then that's a, that's a, he could have contacted me and told me, then maybe we could have resolved this in a much better way. But he has the right to react the way he wants to. Mm. However, and I don't need to justify myself and explain myself, but I think also there's there's a part, a level of defamation that I need to to say my side of the story. Like, why? What was he waiting for for the past seven years? If if it was an, an original idea, it could work with anyone. Especially Lorna. when he started cooking, he could have gone to any of these channels and suggested it. Also, how did he come up with the cooking show a host to Why has Back then. I don't know. I don't, I, I didn't even know that I can I cook then, Mina. And and for me, I'm like, but dude, if this is your original concept, then it could have worked with anyone. It didn't have to have me. And you don't own me. I have the right to do my own thing. And if it happens that it's similar to yours, what's not similar to mine? What is it? Everything is similar. All the cooking shows are the same. Say something. Lona. Um, uh, Zola. Sipogazi. Um, who else? Zandintla put did it. Lushnam Tiane did it. It's the same thing. It's different if it's I write a song or I write a a, a telenovela and I present it to Pell. Then Pell takes the same concept and presents it to a channel and then Pell ignores it. Mm. But if I say I want to write a song about Pell Tusi, mm. Pell Tusi, yeah. And then Pell says, no, don't use my name. Mm. And, then, mm. and then Pell goes and records a song with MTA saying Pell Tusi. Why was MT, what was MT waiting for instead of going to say Boiti Tulo, Zandin Klapo, Malo? You go. If the song is good, it will be successful with or without Pell. So what was he expecting you to do when you decided to do the show to go back to him? Like, okay, and everybody, and everybody, because I see there are mixed comment, things on the comments. So I need to understand, Uguti, what do people expect Somizi was supposed to do? Exactly. But also, I think I, and that's a lesson that needs to be learned by people who are still new. Then protect your intellectual property. Mm. Um, like legally. Do it legally. And that is why also he was supposed to approach me legally. That's all. Go into the papers. Just um, debate even your your, your point. Mm, your point. You know? Yeah. Like, like if you feel you've got a case, go legally. And then we, we will we, we will then deal with it legally. And if your lawyer believes with it, you've got a case, then usually you should have a case. You should be heard. And but what I if don't, he can't afford? What if he can't afford lawyers? I alas. Um and, and and there's a part of me that understands his his um Dilemma. position. Mm. There's a part of me that honestly understands his his dilemma. You are sitting in a place where you believe this is your original concept. You don't know any better. Mm. And now on my hand, life, life goes on. I didn't tap, like I don't know anything about 
I don't remember anything about us even talking about that. Mm. You know? So there's a part of me that understands his position. You can't bind me into having to, to, to it, 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 I'm obliged now not to move on and do things that are similar to that. Mm. But you have the right to protect your intellectual property and defend it with all your might. In short, before in, I close, I have made a decision from long time ago that anyone, I've had so many people coming to me for partnerships and, and concepts and doing, doing, and I always say, if it doesn't make business sense for me, I, I am not going to be a part of it. And I've, most of the time, if not all the time, people approach me, they would want to use my name to make money for themselves. And I end up, when I look at the, either the contract or the agreement, I get probably 10% or 15% of the thing. And I think that's where also people get pissed off. Because I know now there's a guy that claims that I stole a concept I came here, yeah, DVD that um, grinding with some is. And I'm like, how dude? But we came up with the concept together. And when we did not agree, because you wanted to knock me off in terms of the percentage split and i decided to walk away and do it myself and now it becomes a success and you claim with a historical idea and that for me it's it's kind of disturbing because it makes you really be wary as to getting into partnerships like be very 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 careful when you get into partnerships because the people's intentions are very dodgy very very dodgy and there you have it, Boma Lavo. That was what Kusomili had to say about this issue. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Lynn, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. Um, as I said in my previous in my previous uh, video about this topic, it's a very tricky one because it's very difficult to prove someone stole your idea, especially when it's an idea that is as generic as a cooking show. Um. Either way, if you have an idea and you present it to someone, make sure you own it. Like what Somizi said, make sure that you have the copyright to your ideas, your music, whatever, to avoid a situation like this. So that if you approach a star, someone can't steal it from you and make as if it's theirs when it's not theirs. I'm not saying that's what happened here. I'm just saying protect your copyright and intellectual property. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching Bomalavo. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, I love your comments. Please comment. You are more than welcome to like or dislike this video and comment. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. Until next time, Bomalavo. Love you. Bye.